Okay, the next test is stacking. So this is Lightroom. Uh, over here, by the way, I have DSS Live set up, ready to stack. Looking for objects, uh, frames in a folder. And if I just go to back to Lightroom, let's start a stack. 8 second ISO 3200. So let's start a stack of 4. So the EOS Utilities is dropping the images into a folder monitored by DSS Live. DSS Live picks it up, stacks it, and then sends the output to a folder monitored by Adobe Lightroom. So shortly we should get M20. Here it comes, is probably the first one or whatever. You can tell how many it's done by going into Deep Sky Stacker. You can see it's processed two shots so far out of the four. Here comes the next one. And every single frame, stacked frame, comes in here. Here's another one coming in. Not bad. 8 second ISO 3200. <laughs> wow. And of course you can go kind of full frame, full screen if you just knock that back. Uh, we finished it. Oop, no, here comes the last one probably. Uh, no, nope, it's done 3, so it's got one more to process in DSS Live. So let's just wait. shortly it'll be coming in. So DSS Live's the hold up but it's twice as fast as Toaster and there we have it. Four frames stacked automatically colorized on the fly and if you need to you've got the tools here in Lightroom including the biggies which are under detail there's a great sharpening tool which shows you the stuff sharpening. There's a great luminance noise reduction tool by the way. If I just click that and you can see the noise disappearing in front of your eyes. Very good noise reduction. There is also under lens correction a vignetting tool which I've actually got operating in the preset because normally that's set back to zero. And I've taken away vignetting. That's like really heavy mist at the moment. So there's a big red glow in the middle of the photos that I've been taking. Um, so yeah, lens correction. Uh, one of the other really neat things about um, Lightroom is the following. Under the um, curves here. If you, under the black point, white point, you can see when you've overcorrected. If you hold the, let's do blacks first, if you hold the Alt key down and then click on the slider and move it, watch the image. And you move it until you don't see any stuff clipped. See that? That means that would be clipped. That's data. So you move it until you just don't see anything more. And that's actually too much data is clipped. That's the theory of it anyway. I'm trying to look hard to see whether I've got anything clipped. And that's definitely still clipping in my opinion. Anyway, get the gist.